Welcome back to Becky Cooks. In today's video, let me quickly introduce you to the ingredients for our liquid soap. They are written on the board. We have nitro soap, caustic soda, soda ash, texapon, STTP, sulfonic acid, SLS, foam booster, preservative, color, and perfume so these are the ingredients but you don't even need to bother yourself to know the names of the ingredients so here we have our containers for mixing the big red bowl for the main mixing the small green bowl you have to mix all your ingredients first into little quantity of water before adding it to the main water so this is for 10 liters and this bowl is 18 liters but I, I poured water up to almost half of it and then I'm using the remaining water to dilute first before transferring so I'll just follow the numbering on the body of those ingredients of the chemicals so you have to do this in an open space where there is enough ventilation because this thing can be so harsh the chemicals it's not good for you to inhale them or better still, even when you are doing it in, a, in an open space, you should put on your nose max if you know you are sensitive to chemicals like this. And even hand glove, so if you know you react to harsh chemicals. So going on, I just, I didn't mix this one with, with water before adding and see the result, it had lumps. So it's better to mix with water. The thing was looking like I could maneuver it, but it had little lumps. So always mix each of your ingredients, no matter the look of how it looks like. Mix it with water first before transferring to the meal, except the ones that are already liquid form. So mix everything at intervals. After adding one of the ingredients, you mix it very well before adding the next one. So for this foaming agent, I allow them to add double of it so, so that it will foam very well. So since it's foaming very well, you can actually dilute it with water or you can add more water to this. You can have 20, let me say you can have conveniently 15 liters from this mixture because the foaming agent is double. So I just added the foaming agent now and see how it's looking like. So to the next ingredient, I decided to dissolve this one. And I enjoy doing this, so it's so fun. I love doing mixing my, my liquid soap by myself. And this usually lasts me for six months. So if I make in January, I won't make again till July or June. And if I make then, I'm not making again till the end of the year. So that is how I usually do it. And it works for me very well. And I sometimes I still used to give out to, from this quantity and it still remain for me. It will still be enough for up to six months. So it's very economical, very you can know how much to buy liquid, the commercial liquid soap is now compared to this. And this you still have the same result. So I just prefer doing this and it's so fun and interesting mixing your ingredients together. If you have someone to help assist. The person should be either mixing the initial one, then you'll be mixing the big one, or vice versa, whatever method, whoever prefers to do each one. It will make it faster and to help you to avoid lumps in your liquid soap. So finally, uh, color. So I decided to go with the traditional liquid soap color, but usually I like to spice it up sometimes i go for pink sometimes i go for yellow 
sometimes i go for blue those are the colors i've used so you can choose and this is the perfume or let me see the fragrance i've forgotten the fragrance they gave me here but you can just ask them for any fragrance of your choice they have lots of fragrances they have lemon they have lavender they have vanilla they have banana mango like so many flavors you can choose from so you just go to those people that sell chemicals in the market there are so many in different various markets now so and this whole quantity i got it for five thousand naira with the extra foaming agents if you don't want extra foaming agents you just it's four thousand three hundred naira so you can see it's very affordable compared to the regular dishwashing liquid i need to serve it for a very long time i use this for only plates actually only plates if you want to use it to wash car to wash clothes it's your choice but i use mine to wash only plates and it lasts for six months so after mixing you have to properly dispose your the chemical wrap so that nobody will mistakenly touch it or use it for anything so when you are done you cover and set aside till the next day so the next day you come and to the great reveal this is what we have so we are mixing it up to see how it looks like and the outcome is very good other times i add water more than this but this time around i decided to just go with the exact 10 liters or thereabouts and see how it actually looks like 10 liters exact and it's so thick and very foaming so this is it i got a very clean this is the, the container I usually use to store my liquid soap. Then I fetched from this into smaller ones for everyday use. So this is the texture we have of our liquid soap. And I'm just pouring it into this container. Will you be trying this? Let me know what you think. And if you're enjoying this video so far, like leave your comments and share so if you are bothered about the lumps you just do this strain it as simple as that just strain it and whatever lumps is there will just will strain out but me i don't mind about it because they are so just very tiny tiny but be careful when doing yours so that you avoid it totally because there's the kind of mistake you make that you will have big big lumps and you will not like it at all so the best option is have someone to help you and mix all your ingredients first before transferring to the main one and your liquid soap will come out perfect. So this is it after straining and we have very smooth liquid soap consistency. So this is it. Ready to be stored. So this is the extra quantity I got and I'm transferring it into this tiny container i'll be using for my everyday dish washing business so after cooking your food just wash it makes washing plates very interesting when you have good foaming liquid soap to use and wash so this is what i have if you can guess this the container i used to recycle this I'll give you a hug from the screen. <laughs> so I just recycled something and I used it. So to the practical aspects, I want to test to see what our soap looks like. And it's foaming. Yes. I didn't forward this part. I wanted to see how it's going along. See it's foaming very well. That's small quantity so everywhere was just liquid soap in my house that day in my kitchen everywhere liquid soap every container liquid soap and it's so difficult to wash off here from the containers 
So these are the, the, the ones I washed off, I rinsed out, and I'm still going to use that. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.